blessed love of Calvary On the end I cross I bow Safely Jesus, safely now Long my heart has sighed for thee Long as evil reigned with thee Jesus sweetly speak to me I will cleanse you from all sin. I am trusting, Lord, in Thee, blessed Lamb of Calvary. On the end, I cross, I bow. Save me, Jesus, save me now. A warm welcome to each one of you for this Holy Eucharist. We pray for all the intentions on this channel. We also pray for your particular intentions today and especially praying for the situations and people suffering in Turkey and Syria. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Show grace's favor, O Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we have begun, that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 58, verses 1 to 9. Thus says the Lord, Shout for all you are worth. Raise your voice like a trumpet, proclaim their faults to my people, their sins to the house of Jacob. They seek me day after day, they long to know my ways, like a nation that wants to act with integrity and not ignore the law of its God. They ask me for laws that are just, they long for God to draw near, why should we fast if you never see it? Why do penance if you never notice? Look, you do business on your fast days. You oppress all your workmen. Look, you quarrel and squabble when you fast and strike the poor man with your fist. Fasting like yours today will never make your voice heard on high. Is that the sort of fast that pleases me, a truly penitential day for men, hanging your head like a reed, lying down on sackcloth and ashes? Is that what you call fasting, a day acceptable to the Lord? Is not this the sort of fast that pleases me? It is the Lord who speaks. 
to break unjust fetters and undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free and break every yoke, to share your bread with the hungry and shelter the homeless poor, to clothe the man you see to be naked and not turn from your own kin, then will your light shine like the dawn and your wound be quickly healed over. Your integrity will go before you and the glory of the Lord behind you. Cry and the Lord will answer. Call and he will say, I am here. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Your Response A humble, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. A humble, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. Your response. A humble, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. My offenses truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done. Your response. A humble, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble, contrite heart you will not spurn. Your response. A humble, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. Gospel Acclamation Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Seek good and not evil, so that you may live, and that the Lord God of hosts may really be with you. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 9, verses 14 and 15. John's disciples came to Jesus and said, Why is it that we and the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not? Jesus replied, Surely the bridegroom's attendants will never think of mourning as long as the bridegroom is still with them. But the time will come for the bridegroom to be taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, we have heard in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 9, verses 14 and 15, how the Pharisees and the disciples of John fasted several times a week. Fasting shows self-control, self-sacrifice, penance. It is a symbol of mourning and it purifies the heart. Most of all, it expresses an inner longing for God or a hunger for God. Here, Jesus uses the notion of fasting to reveal that the God whom the Jews hunger for has arrived, rejoicing and not mourning is the appropriate response to the presence of divine mercy revealed in Jesus. Lord, this Lent, 
let me fast with gratitude for your merciful love let me fast from oppressive behavior towards those around me may my prayer and my fasting reveal my inner hunger for you amen Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy Church. We offer, O Lord, the sacrifice of our Lenten observance, praying that it may make our intentions acceptable to you and add to our powers of self-resistant. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Derek our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teachings, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Mercy, Lord, we have sinned. Listen to our plea. Mercy, Lord, we have sinned. Answer now our prayer. We confess, we detest our disunity. We have lived for ourselves, failed in charity. Banish, Lord, from our hearts, bitterness and pain. Cleanse us, Lord. Now 
let us pray we pray almighty god that through partaking of this mystery we may be cleansed of all our misdeeds and so suited for the remedies of your compassion through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen go in the peace of christ thanks be to god where you there when they crucified my lord where you there when they crucified my lord oh sometimes it causes me to tremble 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 where you there when they crucified Oh, sometimes